Hello, and welcome to the Project Labs Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. In this lesson, you will create a rendition profile for use in the iModel Composition Server. When creating a rendition profile, this allows users to apply their plotting standards to selected files at plot time when using the iModel Composition Server and provide convenience to administrators when administering their plotting standards. During this lesson, you will learn how to create a rendition profile. A rendition profile is a template that contains the default rendition settings that will be used when the user creates a rendition from the ProjectWise Explorer client. When we generate a rendition profile, you will define the source file presentation settings, the output file formats, the output naming conventions, and the output destination folders for your PDFs. In this exercise, you will create a rendition profile. Once you've logged into your ProjectWise Administrator tool, select the Renditions object and click the greater than symbol to the left of the Renditions object. Select Rendition Profiles, right click and choose New Rendition Profile. When using a rendition profile, we have the opportunity to select from all of our choices from our four major components, the source file presentation settings, the output file formats, the file naming conventions, and the destination settings. First, let's go to the presentation setting and include only these components as valid selections and select the black and white 11 by 17 presentation setting. Notice that if you have both selected, you can choose which presentation setting is the default, perhaps your black and white D size sheet or the 11 by 17. For our particular exercise, we will only select the black and white 11 by 17 presentation setting. If we go to format, we'll choose to only include the existing component as a valid selection. In this situation, we're only making PDFs, but you can and should remember that you can also make additional raster formats as well. If we select the file name and convention component, we will select the include only these components as valid selections, and we restrict this particular component to only use the base name, which will include the sheet model names in the naming convention. Let's select the destination component as well, include only these components as a valid selection, and we can choose from our different components as far as the destination is concerned. In this situation, we will choose to only use the relative folder from source file. Notice that in any of our components, whether it be the presentation, the format, the file name, or the destination, you could make available all of the components for the users to pick from. But since we want to restrict it in this particular exercise, we'll be certain to only choose the relative folder from source file for our particular example in this exercise. Let's give this particular rendition profile a name. We'll call it black and white 11 by 17. And we will make sure to choose at the bottom, send email notification on completion. This allows the user who creates the rendition to get an email upon the success or failure of those plots. Let's click OK. Let's return to the rendition profile component and right click and choose new rendition profile once again. This time for the presentation setting, we will choose the black and white D size sheets instead of the black and white 11 by 17. If you go to format, we'll only include this particular component as an available output format option. If we select file name, We'll choose to use the base name with the sheet model names once again associated to the files. 
and in the destination component, we'll once again decide to include only these selected components as valid selections and choose to use the relative folder from source file. Be certain to enable send email notification upon completion. And we will name this particular rendition profile black and white D size sheet. Click OK on the rendition profile dialog. This concludes the lesson on how to create a rendition profile. Let's review what's been learned. During this lesson, you've learned how to create a rendition profile. The next video will provide techniques on how to preset your ICS rendition profiles for specific work areas or folders when printing with the iModel Composition Server. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.